Shall we, shall we start? No? Ladies first? No, say it, because I think it sounds really nice with your accent. Well, Archwell Audio. Arch, yeah. Archwell Audio. I mean... Really? <laughs> shall we? Yeah, let's do it. December 17, 2021, it's 4.32 a.m. I just finished edit one of the three videos that I did yesterday. And for some reason, it doesn't seem like I'm really rushing that much because I have enough videos for you guys until the end of the year. But um, occasionally when I go on Twitter, I'm not even on Twitter as much either. But when I do go on Twitter, I like certain things and um, leave it if I decided to make videos because the, the Sussexes are not really doing that much. And if you go on my app, you Team Sussex, I threw a whole bunch of new videos uh, regarding the Epstein case and th uh, not Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell case. So there's really not much going on. So I'm trying to save my time when um, not only to enjoy the holiday with my family once the kids are off from school which will be today and uh, when the Sussexes have something meaningful if they put out something regarding the holiday so at least I have this time this specific time left for them for me to create videos so I'm not really in a rush so right now I have the time I just finished edit yesterday's video and I just went on my likes tweet and I bookmark them for me to share with you all right so yeah you could see here um, YouTube well this one I think I uploaded the other day but uh, they're still reviewing it but everything else you see it's they <laughs> they approve all of them this one uh, I redo it because of a video and uh, Miss Universe I think it's Miss Universe uh, that uh, they blocked it so i redid it so i unlist the one that they sort of um blocked i cut it out then i was like you know what let me redo it since it's not even gonna be live anytime soon so i unlisted the original one and then i redid it it's the one that they're supposed to be review all right it's this one they review oh, what happened yeah they're reviewing it right now all right with that being said let's go on twitter and see what's going on gonna have two videos one and politics and one whatever the squad have been talking about and I think this is the squad wants all right this is the first tweet I actually love her personality she got my attention when the police stopped her and her friend for driving in a beautiful car I enjoyed the way she was able to school the racist police without calling them racist she is intelligent uh, she is intelligent too and funny 
All right. So that's regarding Dawn Butler. Lately, I've been talking about her as well. If you go on my IPU Team Sussex, maybe on this one too. I'm not sure where uh, the video is, but uh, recently, maybe two days ago, I did a video where I mentioned her. All right, let's see this one. I love a Don Butler brand. Okay, used to live in brand. She has been consistent since day one. I love her. She never backed down. Love her hair as well. All right. So, I mean, I could see it. I'm not even in the UK. I could see it. Okay, so I respond to it. That was, oh, yesterday. Okay, this is me. Yes, she is a true human being. I highlighted her in one of my recent videos. History will treat her very well. I have great respect and admiration for her. All right, and she responded. She said yes. Not Don Butler who responded. Uh, the person, the squaddy who, who tweeted, originally tweeted her. All right, let me go to hers. Oh, there's a video of her. Okay, I love Adon Butler, used to live in Brent. She has been consistent since day one. I love her, she never backed down. Love her hair as well. All right, black girl back. The problem with Boris Johnson isn't just that he keeps on lying, it's that even now he still thinks he can get away with it. Uh, I recommend this video in one of my videos that I just uh, did a couple days ago. I, I mentioned her. She was on um, Byline TV on YouTube. So this is the clip here. Let's see here. So I'm glad I click on that. People are beginning to realize that the prime minister lies all of the time. And it just highlights the hypocrisy of how much cover he's had. So if you look at all of the legacy media, right, when I go onto their shows, I get attacked, you know, for calling him a liar as though I'm the villain. So, you know, why did you have to call him a liar? Couldn't you find another way to address it? This is the thing here. She. This is why I say she will. Uh, history will treat her well. Cause if the guy is lying, what's another way of saying somebody's lying? I don't know. Maybe dishonest. But to make it plain and simple, he is lying. And this is what she's saying here. All right. And then they attacked her for that. This is where the pack is. Where all of these people who are benefiting on Boris's. Uh, ruling and where he's running things of course they're gonna attack don butler because she's shedding light to the bs okay so let's listen to it. i have to stop somewhere i'm sorry okay as though i'm the villain so you know why did you have to call him a liar couldn't you find another way to address it well i've tried to find other ways of addressing it i've tried to stand up in parliament and deliver a speech that highlights that he's eroding our democracy <laughs> and the very fundamentals of parliament you know that somebody and this is something a lot of Brits should pay attention to. She, well, let's just say the, the video where I mentioned her and for you guys to check Byline TV, I, I say all I have to say about her. All right? She's protecting your democracy and you guys are attacking her for it. And then if whatever rules you guys have right now that to protect you in general, all of you, if Boris decided to destroy it, Okay, you guys are gonna be the victim of it. But he will just do whatever they can to hold on to power. <laughs> and there it I'm is. pleased that people kind of now have seen it and, and understand what's going on. But people are now seeing it. Not only, um, you know, there's little people within the UK who's fighting the system. This is why a lot of time I have to apologize to some of the Brits who I used to think they were the the majority all of them were under the umbrella of the mouthpiece that i'd be hearing but uh, as i get closer and listen to you guys and some of the people who are doing the work who's fighting the uh who's resisting the establishment the same thing is going in the us too okay i have to mention that because it's not like we fully get away from it if we're following what's going on in the us with email texting regarding the january 6 and all of that we are in the same boat okay but the slight different the slight different we have uh, between the u.s and the uk is the 2020 election american decided to put a halt into the nonsense but the uk did not all right so and some of our prayers let the blind see little at a time people will see and hopefully we uh, we stop them before they completely destroy democracy and remember how i said it's easy to destroy than to build all right all of the laws that were put 
and, and place, they didn't put, they didn't become there in an instant. People had to fight for it. And you see how quickly they destroy a lot of the things, some of the progress we have made. All right? So everybody around the world should pay attention. It's not black and white. It's not black and white. They use black and white to differentiate, to uh, uh, progress uh, uh, their agenda. But it's not. All right? It's just a way to blind you guys. But it, it's not just about who paid for the decorations of his flat. The thing is that he thought he could get away with lying about it. It's not just about the fact that they had a party uh, during COVID when we all had to abide by the rules of staying at home. It's the fact that they thought the laws didn't apply to them. And by the way, I have a, <laughs> oh, maybe we'll be in the other video, politics video, because it seems like they, they get a fallout person for this regarding the party and the squad are calling him a coon. But anyway, let's listen. It's bullshit. You know, everybody knows, you know, the, what the, the rules were. And the rules were supposedly there to keep us safe. Mm. And so I think people are really hurt by it. Really, really hurt by it. You know, we've, 144,000 people have died. Mm. And, you know, that clip of um, Allegra when she was laughing. And I do think the public will be very unforgiving because, you know, why they're laughing at us, having a good time and making loads of money and stealing money mm -hmm. from the public purse. They have Exactly. She's telling exactly some of the things that I've been saying. But she's right there. She's seen it. Me is to reading articles and those uh, independent journalists who's putting out the words, um, you know, so I get the sense of it. There it is. She's right there. She's part of the parliament. She's saying exact, well, in a better way than me. All right. Stolen money. They are completely corrupt. <laughs> and I just think that people are just going to be very unforgiving. <laughs> All right. There it is. This is the byline time that I was talking about. All right, you guys, anyone in the UK, pretty much around the world, because occasionally they touch uh, bases on different things as well. All right, let's see here. I have listened to what she said. I was distracted by how much she resembled my mother. Wow. Okay, okay, I really like her. I love people that speak their truth without apology. Yep, yep. Okay, it's the fact that they don't dispute that Boris is a liar, but they're more upset that she's calling him out for it out loud. Exactly. That's exactly that. Okay, oh yes, would been brilliant. Okay, I can see this tweet. All right, let's go to the next tweet. I'm glad she put that out because I mentioned it in one of my videos. Okay, next tweet. So Prince William or Prince Andrew was at the Tory Christmas party. Like I said, and um, I bookmarked something for me to share with you regarding that party, but they took out the black guy. But anyway, my money, WikiLeaks and his handlers, aren't sure about that. However, one thing is for sure. I see. I cycle past number um, when I am on my training bike. Police presence outside the gates of Downing Street is heavy. No one enters or leaves it being lagged the police knew about the party and who was in attendance of course okay very interesting thanks for sharing okay let's see here this is the reason why they have refused to investigate because it will bring into question why are they facilitating this kind of behavior i think it's called not nuns skull is a full on toy okay i was when this will come out nothing will surprise me one bit Okay, Simon Case will be going full pretzel if it was uh, Baldilocks. Okay, I bet he was, and that that is. Post the link, fake news, Randy Andy shouldn't be at any parties. I will have, there is a snowball and hell chance of that being true. Alright, so there's more. Oh, okay, so that's it. Let me move on. I don't want to take more than an hour on this. Next tweet. Let's see here. I've run marathon, climbed mountains, and walked the Great Wall of China. But guess who just twisted her foot getting up from the sofa on her patio? <laughs> she said she did all those crazy stuff, but this, this simple thing, she just twisted her ankle. Mm -mm -mm. Her foot, I mean, not ankle, her foot. All right. The entire wall is over 2,000 miles long. It was snowy and when we visited, even though it was March, so we only spent a couple of hours on wall. 
okay oh no are you okay yes my foot is swollen and tender but i'm okay your breath comp compressing and elevate your ankle i hope you feel better soon so that you and zuzu can add it with activities be careful all right so there it is the pictures of when they did it okay it really is a sight to behold <laughs> look at it. um as i see the pictures here of the great war is that uh you know i don't know every time people are afraid of things they always feel like um walls of i'm just comparing of things that's going on especially with trump putting walls at the borders and all of that when <laughs> they didn't learn from this the great wall of china now there is plain people could fly over Let's go to the next street. So she's showing her proof, by the way. That's her evidence that she was there. And I'm glad she put the emoji on it because she just shaped, saved me some time because I was going to black it anyway. Okay, imagine being jealous that your brother is finally happy. Prince William is such a hater. <clears throat> Look here. Mm -mm -mm. Who would have known? My goodness, the enemy was so close, was so close, was right all right let's see here oh i responded okay that's on him all right, the question was imagine being jealous that your brother is finally happy and this is me responded to it okay that's on him he should have had a goal he had none okay he had none therefore he got one with zero goal once she has him two deserving couples one with goal in mind the other zero in mind all right someone responded and said thought it was his divine right to have the best of everything and it <laughs> oh now i remember what i responded i responded to her uh i thought it was his divine right to have the best of everything and it should always be better than good prince harry and this is me again okay well he got the best of the worst <laughs> He got the best of the worst. All right. I always thought he creepily checked out Megan. That will explain a lot about his jealousy. Okay. It's uh, covered to okay. What he was doing is if I can't have it, I'll destroy it. Hmm. Knowing what we know now. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay. That superior smirk. Uh, William's feeling where Megan's is concerned. He has damaged the monarchy and revealed himself to be a horrible person and disloyal brother. Yep. Yep, a lot of things we could learn from that um, from that lawsuit, the copyright thing. Harry married for love, while debatable if William did. The GIF, much, just, and a few seconds. Jealousy, envy, hate. Yep, especially what we know now. Throughout all of this, what we know now. Okay, William tried to undermine his brother at every turn to black the wedding going forward. Nothing stopped them then nor now love always went and the thing is that that i'm uh thinking of when there's i don't think i have those clips if i do they buried in a whole bunch of videos is that when uh harry and william were kids were young you see each time harry tried to do something william stopped him and it's like those kind of uh, feeling were building up and when harry finally uh go against the brother that's when he left and that's when he got uh, he has his true love and things like that and then move away and move away from him so all of these feelings were probably in my humble opinion were building on megan um got into his life and then just took her and left there was something a comment i saw a couple of days ago where someone told me what was it about i uh i think it had to do with marriage uh that uh what is it oh someone corrected me but um i think like i've always said is that at certain instances because a lot of these things have different branches i can't remember what the tweet about but the person was right oh i remember now it's during the lawsuit where megan did not show up in court and she corrected me and said she was pregnant this could be true all right this could be true guess what they could have easily all right uh suggested to do it via um remotely okay to grill her uh, remotely but i still think 
okay even though the comment the person who corrected me co um, is right but I still think Megan we don't know what they discuss when they took this private because this was never made public okay but we know now because she was pregnant all right and I believe uh, the comment who corrected me even though this is the answer but guess what during the private meeting between uh, Megan's lawyer and probably uh, Mel on Sunday's lawyer and all of that they're probably discussion of doing the trial remotely so they could get her to speak on the oath there's a possibility Megan said no let that uh, the um, summary judgment go uh, she wants to follow through with the summary judgment and all of that all right so yes the person is correct for saying that but because we don't know what was discussed and I still think Megan was looking out for the monarch in a way because she knows this was the only thing she has on them and I think she also knew who was really behind all of this because she was trying to protect them um, the brother in a way she in my humble opinion all right remember I said that person is correct but this little thing that I've always think and I still think is possibly be true is that she was looking out for the brother but the brother never see it and then look how he answered himself back in again and which truly reveal himself all right so that was the thing I um the person corrected me and I still believe that um, I'm right on what I suspect because this we you see in, in, in the in the US where a lot of uh, trial go uh, have been done remotely there was one where I think it has to do with some victim uh, abusive victim or something like that and uh, everybody were uh, in their respective places or office home and the judge wherever he was in his office and uh, while they were doing the trial everything was remote everybody was in front of a camera and uh, the victim's lawyer suggested that the person who was abusing her client possibly is in the house while they were doing the the trial so which mean the victim was afraid to say what she wanted to say so what they did is that her lawyer the victim's lawyer called the police to go in the house to see if the person was there so they didn't say it out loud but they put a hold in it while this is being done okay so they don't alert the victim uh, abuser to run away so what they did once the police was there whatever they suspected was there was true they arrest the, the 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 abuser and then I don't remember did the thing continue and I think it did all right so things can be done remotely all right I'm just saying I'm just saying but anyway let me move on all right so this was this let me read whatever is on the screen and then that's it Harry married for love while it's debatable if William did the GIF shows much just in a few seconds jealousy envy hate William tried to undermine his brother at every turn to black the wedding going forward nothing stopped them now no now love always went okay mango head <laughs> mango head really was acting okay on a day of happiness couldn't hide it gosh all right he is both envious and jealous Skull, Skull really wanted what Harry has, loving relationship, global popularity, personality, etc., which makes him an uh, envious SOB. He is jealous. He can't use Harry as his spare anymore. And the thing is that, unlike Charles, William had the opportunity to choose anybody he want. Anybody. But because the way the institution raised him, most of the people that he wanted to be with didn't even want to be with them probably they saw the sign all right so these young women who refuse his love you know we're like I don't want to be like your mother all right? I see who you are and 
I don't want anything to do with you. That's my humble opinion. Humble opinion. I don't know any of these uh, exes or whoever he asked or anything like that. But uh, many of them did not want uh, to be in this situation. All right. So they took a couple steps forward and said, "I learned from your mom. I don't want to be part of you, knowing her you are." But and this is also bring why Harry quickly married Megan. I know some of a lot of you disagree with me. I understand, but I don't know why I still feel this way. I'm sorry. But once Megan was discovered that she's being uh, she's dating Harry, this is why Harry quickly married her. I I know you guys say yes. There was a time spent and all of that, but look how quickly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you guys correct me millions of times in the comment section, but I still believe that. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. You you guys go punish me in the comment section, but I still believe that. That he just can't understand how he fell for a black woman. <laughs> Harry didn't get the memo. Harry did not get the memo because when they sent him around the world and he see how those people are, he see those people as human beings. Okay, not the way the institution trained William. Okay, so he understand. I think the sign was still there because that was a picture I came across. I do not have it. I've searched many times trying to look for it. Where Harry was probably the most eight, nine, ten maybe was looking at the little girl. His eyes was fixated on that little girl, a black little girl. And we saw the sign that from day one, you know, God was giving us head. But anyway, let me stop going to my spiritual craziness. All right, let's see here. Yes, and also American. Okay, wonder what he was thinking here. Now that we know the role he played to keep them apart. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Next tweet. Oh my God, 26 minutes. Let's see here. Walking toward her meant to be. All right. So this picture was the first time I've come across it. First time. This angle. And I thought it was very beautiful. That's the first time. I think I comment on it saying some stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, there it is. First time seeing this angle. Did the Sussexes hire one of the squad LOL to hide in one of the pillars to take the best angle of her? <laughs> The reason I said that, I was thinking of that uh, royal rat in um, Prince Philip's funeral. <laughs> Sex people like it. All right, I, all right, never saw this one go. <clears throat> Every single one of their wedding pictures are glorious. Okay, oh, that beautiful, and I don't think I've seen that angle. Thank you. You see, a lot of the squad didn't see that. Okay, this picture is beautiful. I've never knew this picture exists. This should be the picture they show more often. What a beautiful picture this is. Harry chose her and she chose him. Okay. She went to him of her own free will, need okay, escort, and she promised to love him until they're old and gone. So happy for them, happy that they found each other. Okay, this is beautiful. I've never seen this. Yeah, everybody's saying that. And this is the other angle. The other angle we all have seen and in the back. All right, that's a YouTube video. Okay, I have never seen this photo. Me neither. It's such a powerful picture. Wow, this is a, this is new to me and I love it. Absolutely stunning. Thank you for sharing with us. Okay, never seen this. Wow, this is my third fit from their wedding album. Oh my goodness, there's a loving eye. I never saw her from this angle and I always wondering what it looked like. Beautiful as always. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, Megan's wedding picture are perfect. All right, so there's more. Okay, while I look for the next tweet, you can look on the screen. Hopefully, I don't fast forward it. Alright, next tweet. Alright, that's Vanessa and Hugen. I always try to ignore royal rats, but I'll never miss a chance to glow. When Megan live in the UK, demonic rats like Palma live in Eden bragged about her being forced to wear slanderous articles. Now, they mad because she's thriving. My skin glows every time I think of it winning <laughs> the GIF <laughs> uh, well, I didn't realize they had actually bragged about that so of being unprofessional dishonest okay they're crass too okay surprise okay oh okay when but then fake news happened pa Glyph tweet tweeted that Megan couldn't escape this cause the whole palace will talk about the article 
make her feel okay they wanted her to suffer morally physically they contribute to her health problem including her miscarriage evil people who are proud of their wicked can't wait for them to cry even more okay they did they all are baggage for god that's all i know all right yes because while megan was attempting to shut out the noise kp cretans kept bringing slanderous articles deliberately so increased her distress during her pregnancy then calmly goes on the radio to say that she realized how harmful stress can be to the unborn child i mean th th she's another baggage for god i don't even want to deal with her all right there's another comment in here diabolical and did saint karen littleton all right and did my oc okay god is good <laughs> Bay, I I love it. I love it. I love every aspect. All right. Next tweet. Okay. Okay. Prince William will bring Kate and Jen and Tonic once the kids are in bed. I think I respond to it. But when you look at his face, it's like every time the wife is next to him, he has that grain face. What the hell is wrong with him? I, in a way, I sort of want to feel sorry for her. But yeah, she deserves it in a way both of them are baggage for god but anyway let me see what i said here why does he make <laughs> look at this the same thing that i'm feeling now that's exactly what i wrote here why does he make this type of face whenever he is around her jeez i want to feel bad for her but if she's such a bitch she deserves whatever egghead will meet his match soon too all right and then she brings him condom so he can have his mistress <laughs> <gasps> oh my god the squad don't play over the squad don't play over the squad don't play over <laughs> oh my god said people responded and there's 35 comment in here the violence in this reply is so vessel <laughs> let's see here what did people say all right evident okay the violence okay i just read that there's the laugh okay bahaha <laughs> oh gonna <laughs> leave I can't even beat the thing. Gonna need you to like off now, sis. People just laughing. That's not gonna happen. OMG. People just laughing. Internal screaming. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. <laughs> That's a strong baby. That's a strong baby. Oh my god. That's the first time I seen this GIF. Wow, he picked himself up. They should put him in gymnastic or something. People just laughing. You savage. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, do they think this makes her appear love? <clears throat> do they make her appear loved up or more like an alcoholic who decides to spill this bad self damaging PR? Is it to remind us of her boozing days? Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Uh uh uh. Uh uh uh. Let's see here. So, another effort by P. <laughs> oh my god, those GIF are killing me. So, another effort by PR to make it seem like they're still living under the same roof. There's the laugh, and then they show a GIF of uh, Trump and the Pope <laughs> trying to touch this hand. And then what the hell but anyway people is so random and so royally obsessed they're constantly revealing shit about this family we don't want to know i'm glad harry and megan and uh cahoot with these people uh they're not random they're getting it okay to push the fire let's see here no bill rings for a, a gen and tonic to be brought to her okay the strategy here is to share personal bits to make them more relatable they have a reputation of being snobby <laughs> all right i'll tell you the squad read between the lines okay no wonder why they're trying to infiltrate the squad okay it's a subtle way of telling us that she has a problem drinking okay and so it began it has to help her numb herself at least her okay he's useful a pr pointless exercise and we imagine them into something relatable and normal and in love <laughs> to quote charles whatever in love means <laughs> okay after this that's it. <clears throat> before leaving to go and water his uh oh my god his rose 
Okay, before leaving to go and water his voice, nothing wilted about the, that was Yuck. Alcoholics love alcohol before bed, while in bed, and when they finally get out of bed, morning, afternoon, and evening, don't forget late night. <laughs> she covered all time of the day. Next tweet. All right, 34 minutes. Let's see here. Okay, here is your gin and tonic. I'm going out. <laughs> I'm telling the squad, when they see something, they run with it. This sort of relate to the last tweet that I just did here, by the way. Okay, here is your gin and tonic. I'm going out. Okay, what does she need to numb every night? Hey, if Egghead is not watering his plant and her, I guess this thing is itching to get something. But that's usually fake one. <laughs> But that's usually fake one. He bet she better get used to that because I don't think he wants to be in there. <laughs> that's mechanical one. Oh my god. Knowing he's effing someone else and there's nothing she can do about it and that she wishes she had a marriage like Alphys. Exactly. Alright, she I always say she bent before she even got into the palace. Alright, so she play all of her cards before she even got in there now she has nothing to play okay so now they're playing her and that's really sad in a way and she caused it all okay this was my thought there's the laugh there's this all right uh let's see here next tweet I need to start the politics version. All right, the Sussex Squad podcast. Thank goodness I have come to my own before I turn 40. Wow, imagine being so useless that you are finally coming to your own at 40. Embarrassing. <laughs> oh my God, the squad don't play. They don't mention any name, by the way. Let's make that clear. Let's just make that clear. They did not mention any names. You, If you know, you know. If you don't know, that's on you. All right, this tweet, <laughs> this tweet is from account, you black. Okay, uh, forget it. Let's forget it. Sad. Okay, there's the laugh. It's the full week every year for me. Every single year, like clockwork, Baba, God, please, I rebuke this kind of life for me. There's a laugh. Okay, it is every three months. <sighs> Come coming the timely white one every three months. Oh, whatever happened to her? <laughs> they because I don't follow her if the squad don't put something about her out I will not know they will say this is at every birthday she's still becoming into her own when she's 50 <laughs> next tweet I told you there wasn't really anything meaningful going on but since I have the time and I bookmark some and might as well share it with you all right next tweet Megan Marco trolls makes all like over 3k a mom um, trashing her on YouTube for context, poor voter, that's a higher salary than officer cadet at Stanhurst when Prince Harry trained and only few K shy of a serving officer in the household cavalry. Wow, that's a Newsweek article. Can Megan Marco Trolls make over $3,000 a month trashing her on YouTube? It, look at me. YouTube is like putting every single video that I have on a type rope. Okay, let's see here. A Meghan Marco chose make more than more money over a month than Officer Cadet at Prince Harry's former military academy. One of their videos appeared to reveal. All right, let's see here. You are wrong on this one, Jack. Did you really listen to say YouTube contributor or did you just follow the headline? I actually enjoyed this YouTuber and the entertainment and her videos. First Amendment or did you forget? All right, the First Amendment is not... Uh, it's not a thing when it comes to private companies. They make their own rules that you have to abide by, or did you forget? Also, she lives in the UK where the First Amendment is not a thing. Okay, I don't know anything. I'm just sharing. Okay, wrong, wrong. The comment on the thing we all see that are concerning. She had opinion not all agree with, but she is lovely. Okay, I'm glad she gets money for uh, she's very entertaining okay i don't i don't follow oh my god <laughs> I, i'm laughing at this but the thing that i was gonna say is that i don't follow a lot of people for me to know all right so after this that's it okay laughing my ass off this comment section is gonna be a derangers cesspit in no time these lost individuals always have an explanation for everything here comes the water but buddhism 
quote what about their netflix deals what about them cashing on their titles okay they will always make me laugh all right the irony of this post is okay it just gave easy promo to their channel and video among many other channels and videos so literally youtube just got more clicks more videos more follows more likes and it all keeps the platform relevant youtube not mad at that all right let me move on what this comment said is pretty much it all right so i don't know what uh, whose youtuber they're talking about all right next tweet betty and philip wasn't together on their last anniversary they only started living together again during lockdown she then visit him when he was in hospital but people acting like those two were so in love and had a perfect marriage they were clearly living separate lives when i saw that the first thing that came to mind is that i think prince philip lived his life to the fullest okay he lived his best life i mean i understand some of his family had gone to some uh hardship okay uh after they left uh they kicked them out of greece but once he become a young man he got um to his feet and his adulthood he lived his best life the others okay the one he married into were creating a perfect facade for everyone i don't think philip give a damn all right you see him uh riding motorcycle with her i have a picture of uh, them together and stuff like that i think this in my humble opinion i don't know that full thing but wherever he was having fun he was having fun with her okay so that's it let me read some of the comment here okay wasn't there a woman reportedly philip's side piece who was allowed to visit him at the palace whenever he wanted her there <laughs> uh, why i give you penny not not bull philip's very special friend for many years yeah and then you could see when i have also a picture of her in the car when philip died all right when they were going to the um ceremony the funeral she looked very sad very i could sense she was the one who truly really besides harry who truly took the death personally the other one where they show her by herself and all of this uh, it was just a photo, photo app that's all photo app but god i'm living this is just my uh, humble opinion but god knows the true feeling of everybody who were in that place all uh, right you got harry who then you know they literally told them to leave but um came um fly thousands of miles to be at the funeral service okay let's tweet comment under that okay and this immoral mofo tried to paint harry's relationship with megan as scandalous because she was a divorcee okay we were even told that during the holiday betsy uh, betty is busy entertaining while phil is at the highway <laughs> with his friend that's the, the friend is in quote by the way now they're wondering how she'll survive christmas without him <laughs> okay they keep spending this nonsense about betty missing philip she was looking so happy after his funeral <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry it's the way the squad are putting things out there all right let me compose myself they keep spending this nonsense about betty missing philip she was looking so happy after his funeral she never stopped smiling and socializing okay let's see here you are very correct when philip had an accident the uk royalists were saying that the queen should follow david attenborough that he is a better than that he is better than philip the queen is so happy since philip's death oh my god all the rats and the media is not the truth <laughs> i just want to know who all okay who all pips beneficiaries are that will not get to be an enlightened what is it the uh oh my god i no i say i'm gonna wake up my son at 5 30 right now he's 5 16 what is it the how do you call this the will they postpone it for uh what 90 years it's because probably i think harry's in it and because in association with megan they want to make sure that their lifespan pass you know so they don't get to see it okay probably some extra kids or grandkids could be okay family album let's see here okay i can't see that face okay even as the old age she still look good 
I'm not talking about the queen. I'm talking about uh, Penny. And she was a hot babe when she was young. I'll show you guys those pictures I have. Okay, actually, when they started living together is when he got so sick and died. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the squad are making sure you know the truth it's not when you thought they got uh, together it's when he was sick and then that's when they got together all right yep philip okay philip was caring for him all these okay penny okay yeah penny was caring for him all these years okay i believe william and kate are doing the same there's a possibility okay in fact betty seems happy driving her car Weeks after the funeral, there are pictures of her smiling widely. Okay, case in point. Okay, so the <laughs> those squad, those squad have received. Let's see here. I'm not gonna click on that. Okay, Queen ninety five drive herself to favorite event at the year ahead of something. The Queen got behind her for get to the Royal Windsor's horse show. Look at this. She's doing her thing. Okay, he had lived almost three hours away from her for many years. It's a joke. Okay, Penny was his concert. Phillips, uh, Phillips, Phillips will Phillips 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 will give us a good indication how much in love they were. <laughs> and she laughed and I laughed seriously with that. Okay, I believe he gave everything to Penny and her daughter. Interesting. That's a good point. Okay, Philly was with the love of his life the one everyone doesn't want to admit he left money for okay i think it's horrible that they didn't that they don't talk about philip's other children everything is hiding in british media and people pretend not to see pathetic okay i mean i think they already uh how do you call this whoever is the beneficiary to whatever the will has already has it it's just that they're not making it public that's what i think all right, whoever has it uh, has their thing. But uh, for the public, the rest of us, okay, we don't need to know this kind of thing. All right, after this, that's it. She has been tired of his shit. They were married 70 plus years and she was done after <laughs> at year 10. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. The squad was like, at 10 years, they were done. <laughs> okay, remember this story. Such, okay, such was their life. Let's see here. Queen Elizabeth wants to a pair of shoes, ten, okay, of, of shoes, tennis racket, and at Prince Philip. Royal expert Ingrid Seward recently published a book on the Duke Edinburgh title, Prince Philip Reveal Biography. So, <laughs> nobody's perfect over there. Your cousin said, uh uh, I want another fresh little flower. <laughs> Let me go get it. All right, let's see here. Okay. It was a transactional business partnership of marriage. Philip needed a home and Lily needed a husband and a heir. Sure, they like and love what they did for each other too. All right, let's see here. The queen looks more happy after Prince Philip's death. Wonder why. Yeah, here, here. They sort of look alike a little bit, but my goodness. Yeah. Wow, I noticed this. Okay, she turned her head so many times. Okay, it was a marriage of convenience. I'm not sure love played a role at all. She pledged her whole life for the crown. He didn't. <laughs> that is true. That's another way of putting it. With that being said, let me leave this tweet alone. Let me move to another one. 48 minutes and it's almost time for me to wake up my son. Oh, I think this one should be... Uh, okay, let me just read. I'm not going to go into the article, but I really wanted to read the article. All right. At Lewis Hamilton, he prays on Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, the greatest weekend ever, Friday's Daily Express. Ah, the hell with it. Since I could see it, let me read it. Lewis Hamilton opened up on Meghan Marco, greatest weekend ever. Okay, Lewis Hamilton, he prays on Meghan Marco as he healed the diversity she brought to the royal family. Okay, what year? What year? Damn it, I don't see the... How long ago? Okay, in 2018, after her wedding to Prince Harry, Hamilton he praised on the Duchess and said he enjoyed the occasion. He said, quote, I watched her at the weekend just with a smile on my face the whole time. Quote, it was great to see such a positive change. It was great to see how happy they both were. It was just a really proud day for the world and it's always great to see posit positivity and change. They continue, the fact you do have diversity in the royal family today is a huge thing. 
Uh, everybody sees it, but the royal family, the one who's going to benefit from seeing that diversity here. All right, people probably don't realize how important that is. Even to see at the church, you had a mixture with the minister and the music and the choir. It was just really beautiful to see. He continues, so I just had the greatest weekend ever just sitting there watching, seeing talented people play music and seeing, I'm look, imagining that the young boy playing the cello. All right, so I just had the greatest weekend ever just sitting there watching, seeing talented people play music and seeing them speak and then just to see this power couple to walk out. Quote, it was the greatest wedding I ever seen and I'm not big on wedding at all. Uh oh. Whoever his girlfriend is, uh oh, okay, he probably just give you the money and say arrange everything and then I'll show up. <laughs> I avoid them at all costs. Oh, uh, you see, so whoever he's dating, be, there's a warning for you here. But this was one. I wish I was actually in England to have seen it. All right, let's go to some of the comments. Here's a picture of the actual article. Let's see here. It's within that. Okay, so the date is... Okay. Oh, so that's recent. Lewis Hamilton opened up on Meghan Markle Greatest Weekend. So that was December 17. <laughs> today is December 17. So it's coming out today. So when I saw it yesterday, and I bookmark it. All right, so that's that. Let's see here. Look at this shameless clickbait headline with the strategic working good morning to you sexton it's 4 51 early morning here in north europe uh, but still reading your post all the best for you all right all the best to you all the best to you and finland it's 504 here in florida oh he's in florida i thought he was in england cap dm okay let's see how many will now attack lewis for this i mean what is it uh, there was a race a f1 race that uh, he got robbed on and i was like thank god i don't know the rules and uh, so it's best for me not to even try to get upset about it next tweet people prince harry and megan are inseparable nothing has changed all right i think i responded to that damn he looks sharp there look at megan my goodness every angle this woman looks good and i'm telling you harry was letting everything out and I was like, Megan didn't say it. It's Harry. All right, look at this here. This picture tells me he's saying, this is my woman. This is my wife. This kind of thing. Look how he put her close to him. And I think in some, I think that was the first outing in New York before all the other things that follow later on. And I think she was slightly, in this picture you could see it, you could, slightly nervous to be, uh, to be, with the public slightly i think then later on as things progresses throughout the day uh and the rest of the week she got a little bit more comfortable because of the nonsense that was going on in the uk that's my humble opinion here and i've shared i've done so many videos on that day um even some of my um other intros part of my thing th these will come back after january unless they come out with some new audio i probably will do something completely different but um i truly believe this was the first outing when they were in new york you could see the nervousness in her in that picture specifically then as the week progresses she relaxed a little bit and get comfortable and back to her old self again that's why that my humble opinion here all right let's read some comment yes something has changed <laughs> they got closer that's me responding to that all right people magazine will do well to stay william and kate's newsletter and leave this to alone okay i just read the snippet on the page and it wasn't that bad god it was a nice positive story and then mentioned certain ball one just wish they didn't call her by her maiden name in it all right can i get one more pregnancy out of these two all right i mean it's this thing is their business if they have one that would be great if not it's up to them this is my last one all right this is the squad i saw one of my comment section saying in terms of uh, what they're gonna put out or something like that for their christmas thing i don't know by the time you see this if they had put something out a christmas picture or something like that we already know because this is gonna come out completely later i have a, if i was megan 
what was the word that uh, is it Camilla Tamney was making fun of uh, Archie uh, when Megan was doing the book interview and said Archie said or something like that and she turned it completely 360 I just wish Megan made Archie train or I mean by now Archie should probably say I don't know couple sentences you know word sentences and train Archie to say that word on a new audio on um, Archwell audio that would be so good this is Sussex squad what are we doing there's only one answer <laughs> all right let's see okay I will be happy with whatever they decided to show us but you know I will still be in that group too lol <laughs> that's me expecting a full family picture for Christmas I know I know I'm a clown okay this is the answer <laughs> that's the laughing all right waiting for podcasts I think so too okay loving and pouring love on our fave like nobody's business all day long <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> That's the squad calling themselves clown. <laughs> Waiting for the memoir to F everything up, clown. One can hope. All right. Trying to get war watch to acknowledge the double standard and reporting they want and who cares anymore. All right. Thanking Fergie is supportive of Harry and Meghan after seeing a clip of her interview. Okay. Sharing screenshot of the range tabloid reporters and trolls. Okay, expecting gossip writers, royal rats, and tabloid to be positive. Their business model is based on Harry and Meghan, so what's not clicking? All right, Christmas photo, laughing at royal rats because they are still planning to see a picture of Lily posing as the Royal Voter Press Core Pack, tweeting about the others, hoping to hear Archie and Lily speak on Christmas podcast this year. Thank you, that's what I'm hoping to. That's exactly what I'm hoping to. All right, Archie, maybe Lily, if she speak at six months, she probably like, bye, bye, bye. And Archie probably say, no, don't do that or something like that. Okay, buying, um, what is it? Uh, finding Freedom book, clown. All right, All right. let me stop. Let's do a prayer because now it is exactly 5.30. I need, I need to, uh, how do you call this? To wake up my son. Prayer for, what was some of the things we discussed on this story? Man. Uh, ignore royal rats. Let's say uh, family. Let's have let, peace and oh, what the hell did I put? Peace and protection. All right. All right. Let's see here. There's this here. Lord God, I pray for your protection as I begin this day. You are my hiding place, and under your wings, I can always find refuge. My trust is in you, God, and I give thanks to you for your love and protection. All right, so let's pick an um, image. Come on, image. Let's pick that one. Okay, God, I come before you on behalf of my family. There are so many needs that each of us have. You know and understand them all. Surround me with your love. Help me to take comfort in your power and greatness. Renew my strength and the strength of my family. Help us to always show gratitude for all the things you have already done and for those things we believe you will do. Amen. I need to stop and it's exactly one hour. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate or you could watch the commercials and the video. Thank you for your support. Thanks.